signaling pick. Not so much experience on the pick players from Hunterfoss because they don't actually have a team to play. December Cup with us, and they play with us now, so uh, the experience they get here is of much value to them. And we need them as well on the team. They look like very good additions. Yeah. Played with them on December Cup and really good. Uh, yeah! Just that side. Really nice one from Meg. Really nice catch. Almost a... Uh... It really does make a difference when you have those players in that tempo just to get the disc moving. Yeah. And, uh, a bit of quality on the throw. Yeah. I think Eric is a bit happy that he actually caught that one. And that's a bit of a lucky catch, I think. All skill. All skill. All skill. Of course. So it's 3-3 three, three now, TFK in offense. With the pull. Magna. Safe catch, undercut, not gone. Up the line. Yep. This is where they're dangerous, that up the line cut, because yep. if you're trailing by so much. Good pass. And again. Java called. Fantastic cut. I don't know, actually, seeing that cut, he might be. I might actually. Should we bump him up to second fastest? Second fastest. Do you think that he's uh, over overtaken Steiner? Uh, we'll I actually think so, yeah. Good pass. Good cut again. And the automatic throw. Yeah. He's not looking. Why well, it wasn't fast looking. enough for that one from that, uh, Ivan. I'm not sure that was actually for her. I think that that was, um, I think that was for Magna and he just wasn't expecting it. No. These automatic passes that they were using the yeah. last week, just aren't uh, coming off today. But that'll improve as the tournament goes on for sure. Yeah, of course. It's only three or four players in this team that actually plays together on a daily basis. Yeah. So you need to play a bit more with the pickup players to. We oui. go. Beetle, go on. Excellent. There we go. And an adequate celebration. I think uh, that's something that they need to do some more work on in practice is, is their celebrations. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. We have a lot to learn in celebrations. We do it passively. Yeah. So... Trying to figure out who's which number on the pancake team. We have two players left in this game. We have Thomas, is a pickup player from uh, La Bamba. La Bamba. I think he's on the bench right now. Or is Here we he go. Love it. Excellent pull. On and the field. defense is already down there, allowing the undercut. Excellent inside break. And there's just always someone with TFK ready to keep the disc moving. There you go, the cuts are clean. Yeah, so Thomas is on the field right now. There's an around if he wants He's it. He's number one. She takes, and then the cut comes to the break side. This is how you should be playing indoor ultimate. Yeah. Good pass there. Three in the end zone, one comes out. Up the space. So not doing good. Nice. And so uh, nice catch. Nice stuff. Yeah. Again, I think celebrations, we need to see a bit more. Get your team yeah. going. Still a really even game with TFK 1. Pancake is doing very well on that side, keeping up with the I mean, you experienced look at, TFK team. You look at these, these Pancake players and you've got a mix of really good athletes, you've got players on there with safe pairs of hands, they're not going to be an easy team to beat, no matter who you are. Yeah. There's quality throughout the team, 
Yeah. And they look like they really, really want to win this. That, that needs to go to the open side. There you go. He's looking, he's faking. It doesn't pass it, good shout. Oh. Unfortunately high in the store count. TFK going horizontal. Good centering. Again, this is just smart ultimate by TFK. If they're in space, they're not moving. They're just waiting for the pass to come to them. No wasted energy, efficient. And when you've got players that can get that low and break someone, you're going to be able to get that disc into the corner every time. Yes. So I think we're actually getting signaled to start warm-up in a few minutes. So we have a few minutes left of commenting. And then uh, I we think, have to go and warm up. I think, should we get this man, the man who works the most on his celebrations? Sv should we get Svein up here? Svein? Svein? I think we should get Svein. I think Svein needs to come and give his expertise on how people should celebrate goals and how much of an impact that can have on your team. Yeah. I think, should, should we grab him? Yeah. Svein! I, I can get, go grab him. We'll get him. So, excellent pull again. All the defense is set after the yeah. first yeah. pass. So, now we Good have Svein cut. here. Oh. He's going to comment the rest I'm of the game. Comment. Okay. Because uh, me and Brian is going to go warm up. We're, we're going to warm up. What we've noticed is um, CFK are playing very efficient, clinical. Um, pancake, good players. Uh, a couple of miscues at the start. But what both teams need to work on is fine. And this is why, why we've brought you in. What's missing from this game is yeah. celebrations. And oh, yeah. what I want you to tell me is the impact that that can have on your team. Oh, yeah. Uh, you mean like the way Inkbike celebrates? Absolutely. Yeah. What, we're... What, 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 could, what do you think you could bring to these teams if you, if you could you can tell them if you could train them up in their celebrations. Well, if we, if you celebrate a point, it usually helps uh, help you to. Yeah, wait, you're leaving. Uh, okay, I'll just have to keep this going on my own. Um, we'll leave you to it. We've got to go and warm up. So yeah. Good luck. Uh, enjoy, guys. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Ingar is on the side there uh, with a blade to Ivan. Oh, nice layout. Yeah. And there, the TFK usually has a very good give and go play that means they're passing passing quick short passes quickly up the field towards the end zone and then they usually score with a blade or two um, let's see yeah um. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Ingar with the disc there again. Let's see if he throws it straight into the end zone or up the line. Yeah, it's up the line. And... That's... Oh! Look, it's... Uh, hey. Wait, who is it? Um, it's Marit in the end zone. Assist from... Somebody else. <laughs> oh, I forgot this. Uh, hi, Dad, and hi, Mom. If you're uh, watching, it's uh, Svein. <laughs> I'm commenting now, so, which means I'm not playing. So you, uh, you want to wait until. Uh, in uh, two games, in about maybe 50 minutes, then uh, I'll be playing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so both the teams are signaling ready, and then we have the pull. Oh, that's a nice pull, straight in the end zone.
Hey, Sitara, you want to help me comment? Okay, there's been a call. They're discussing it, and they're discussing how what the stall count is. So, what they're going on now? Okay, returning the disc to the thrower. Oh, call. Head, head is signaling call retracted. Um, no, we're just now I'm going to come Okay, that's another point for Pancake. Oh, it's a close uh, match with uh, six to Pancake and five to Trondheim Frisbee Club. Uh, let's see. So. Seems that TFK has uh, decided on their uh, strategy, and so has Pancake. So we go for pull. And that's a pull right in the end zone. Steiner getting it, throwing it to Lars Jakob. He doesn't get to jump in, so he has to go walk out again. He's looking for somebody, the stalk hunt is getting up. Uh, Ivan is looking for someone again. Uh, they got the disc around. This is looking good for TFK. Oh, they're, they're playing it slow. They have... Uh, uh, they have uh, playing it slow and not uh, making any mistakes. That's good for them. Steinar has it right in front of the end zone. Uh, Ivan is looking. Yeah, and to Steinar again. Good play from TFK, which is now catching up, I think. I'm gonna go to check if uh, to see if the um, uh, points on the stream are reversed or something. Okay, I got the technical team to switch the scores now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Is that's a hand block. No, yeah. From uh, Ivan, and Ivan gives it straight to Marit in the end zone. Marit Fajskang in Pedersen, number 17. Obviously uh, happy for uh, what she does. As uh, Ben told, uh, told you earlier, uh, it, the more you celebrate your points, the more it stimulates your, um, your game. It, like, makes you happy when you're playing the sport, even though you might be losing. As long as you get a couple of wins every once in a while, it's, uh, it makes you happy. <laughs> so, uh, and a lot of people maybe uh, here in Norway, I don't know how it is internationally, but a lot, a lot of teams don't celebrate their points as much, and uh, then they become kind. They become sort of mute and serious, and if they're losing, they can become, become quite sulking. So they do. They kind of do the in, inverted celebration where they don't celebrate their scores, but they they uh, are, uh, they grieve over their losses. Oh, that's a uh, long. Uh, yeah, a long, long throw outside the end zone. Uh, used to be a very, very characteristic for TFK, but I don't think they use it too much against the more proficient teams in Norwegian Ultimate. Um, maybe because Pancake is uh, staying good on their force. Uh, <laughs> I've only played for like one and a half years, so I don't, I don't know too much about how to play well. But I do. Oh, nice defense by Marit there. Okay, Ingar as well always picks up the disc again, looking for the deep uh, throws. Ah, yeah, and he to Steina and straight to Marit again. And here is Bor from Hekvarg helping me with the counting. Yes. All our viewers out there, yeah. it's a pleasure to, uh, to have you watch and uh, <laughs> hosted by Svein and uh, now Bo for the last yeah. four minutes of the game. Yes! Can it get exciting or will uh, TFK just get ahead yeah, and they're, not look back? They're, uh, they are quite a lot, of, a lot ahead now, four points is a bit of a stretch to catch up uh, for Pancake. Is it a bit like the... The men's uh, cross country yesterday, when Norway was 20 seconds ahead for the last two, three kilometers. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's nothing. This is more like being maybe uh, one minute ahead. So one you can, minute ahead. It's like you have a good head start, but ah uh, yeah, okay. Now, <laughs> now they're five points ahead. Now we can start talking about this being hard to catch. I think that, that's about that's a minute and a half. That minute and a half, because yeah. But uh, always have faith. Because yeah. people can fall in the, you know, the last hundred. You gotta years. have faith, like George Michael. Faith and fate. Yeah. No faith. Rest in peace, George Michael. <laughs> okay, so uh, also celebration helps to keep the faith up. Yes, um, and the spirit. You yeah. know, we like spirit in this sport. We do. So, uh, uh, Inga here will fall. Yeah. Kate catches the disc. Yeah. Hammers it. To Hedda. To Hedda. And uh, there uh, are some players whose names I don't know four here. Four is uh, either Martin or Martin, so we will just right. fudge it like Martin. 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 Yes, just, Martin. To, just to, to be sure. Ah, that's oh, unfortunate. Oh, it's a throwaway. This is Pancake 2, isn't it? Yeah. It is. This is Pancake's pickup team, so they have four pickup it's players. A... It's Thomas, Vegard, Hovar, and Martin. Ah, yeah. okay. Uh, Vegard. Uh, uh, which is standing in the middle of, oh, yeah, he's, he's on the mark now, standing, Number covering Steinai, I think, 27. Uh, oh, 23? There's no 27 in here, maybe that's more. <laughs> Regardless, no, this is almost the point. Oh! To, so close. Was that a defense from Pancake? It was yeah. not a defense per se, yeah. the disc was a bit too so far. So if Pancake are gonna like win this game now, they have to get Four points in two minutes. And now that is difficult. Yeah, now it, we are heading towards the finish line oh, for the game. Oh, that ah. was quite a point. Great, uh, great play from Pancake. 
and or I, they their their team cheer is uh, no more pancakes. We want waffles. So maybe this team is actually called Waffles, which is, which is usually the is it, they pickup team earlier name. in yeah. earlier games. Yeah, no, but that's usually the pickup team name uh, for um, uh, pa uh, pancake tournament teams. I see. Uh, but now they're playing with a pancake paper. Pick but up on team. the on the paper, because what is it on paper? It's the uh, pancake too. Yeah. All right. So I guess we have to ask them to get confirmation if they're waffles. No, we well, want to call them something you're not. Yeah. But we now we're losing track. Pan this pancake. Is Ivan. And Ivan getting his uh, the eleventh point of uh, TFK. And uh, don't you say this is like the nail in the chest in the chest? <laughs> No, the, the, do, you, do you have that? The, the, that the, cuff, the, 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 the last, the, the, the last nail in the coffin was um, maybe like three minutes ago three minutes when ago, it was still 10-5. So uh, now there, there are no, there are no more nails to put in the coffin because it, it's already full with nails. It's, or, it's pretty much locked. If you, they can pull out a couple of names, but the uh, nails, but they still won't open the coffin. Yes. But uh, you know. That's the point. You, if you celebrate each point you get, if uh, if um, pancakes celebrate the last point they get, they will still go out feeling like they did they did the score uh, the entire uh, match, even though they didn't score as much. Okay, that's a turn for uh, TFK getting that. Oh, Inga is looking for a deep. Oh, that's and it's too out. deep. It's very deep. Very deep. So yeah. if uh, TFK or like, is this that, like so deep, it's profound. It's it, it <laughs> is it's <laughs> profound throw by yeah. Inga. <laughs> and, and so is the game over after this point, regardless, since it's not a very tight game. Or um, do you play one more point afterwards? Uh, no, no, it's uh, you it's just play. Right? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a nice uh, deal yeah, from Inga. Goes again. Yeah, this is a good example of playing, giving it all uh, until the game is completely over. Even though they great spirit from Inga there. Yeah, it's it's great, great spirit. Uh, and uh, I guess they also no, they, they just they, if if the difference is two or more after Ooh. the like when like after the clock be it beeps, like when there are uh, thirty <laughs> minutes has gone, if if uh, w when the when the point finishes, that's the last point. Yeah, for that's Hedda. very good. If the if the and when the point finishes, you. if when the point finishes, uh, this point finishes. If the difference is less than two, then they play uh, until two more than the lowest point. Excellent explanation there. It's yeah. We'll have reruns of that uh, throughout this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so let's see the next game. Might be. Let's see. What is this same? Uh, oh, that was a quick update of the spreadsheet. It's already updated. Uh, the next uh, BFK is that Barum Barum Fris It's uh, Barum Frisbee Club against La Bamba from Göteborg, and that will probably be within the next five minutes, uh, depending on how much they're warming up. Um, we see TFK and Pancake 2 going out for a spirit circle in the wardrobe now. That's when we uh, stand around in a circle and hug each other and talk about uh, what how the game was. Yeah, how the game was. did well, how could, uh, you know, how yeah. was the spirit? Yeah. And one always says that one looks forward to seeing the other team at the party. Yeah. No, the, if they're more, we have party. Good luck for the tournament. Yeah, or, or if But we shouldn't lot. say too much because this is sort of a secret. Like you. Can, can we tell this to the public? Yeah, because there are spirit circles uh, on field in okay. some games as well. So, but right there, right here, it's there's not enough space. Also, we have lots of space outside the hole, yeah. so we'd rather use that. And uh, so now we're seeing uh, La Bamba's warm up, a bit of yeah. uh, jumping, and now they're doing the huddle. Yeah. We can also see uh, uh, BFK doing the same. Barum Frisbee Club again. Barum Frisbee Club. Yeah. Um, so Katarina, are we at home now? That's right.
and welcome to this uh, game again with uh, Biden playing against La Bamba. This is the fourth series in the Norwegian Ultimate Series. We see Biden throwing a long pass all across the field to number five. That is Evan Smith scoring. So, a bit about the teams. La Bamba is visiting from uh, Gothenburg. Uh, they have a tradition of coming to tournaments in Norway. Uh, and Norwegian teams have a tradition of coming to their tournament in Gothenburg. So, these are pretty much well-known faces, quite a lot of them. A couple of new faces uh, this year, though. Uh, Bayern Frisbee Club are all veterans, uh, except for one. Number 18, uh, David Nielsen. He's our extra help for this tournament, the only real junior. Only played for 15 years. He's never played the game of Ultimate Frisbee. But he's the son of two Ultimate Legends, so jeans. So La Bamba are pressed in their own end zone. Uh, Baden is doing a man defense. Edith looking for help getting it. Oh, number 17 on La Bamba. Give them. Not able to reel that one in. Fancy break pass to number 12. That is Espenino. Looking for end zone. Not finding anything, not finding anything. Just has to get rid of it. And uh, fortunately, Nils Inge. No, the call on the field is a stall out. A stall out is when the player is not able to throw the disc before the defender starts saying eight. So you have eight seconds in ultimate uh, to throw the disc. Uh, that stall out is contested, so the disc will come in on six. So he meant that he released it before he starts saying eight, or that he counted eight too fast. And a knife into the end zone. Unfortunately, a bit too hard, so uh, Björn Kari, number 15, was not able to reel that one in. And uh, Edit is calling a disc space. Uh, the defender has to have at least one disc diameter between their torso uh, and the torso of the person with the disc. able to get it and he would have landed out. That is uh, number two, Liam Fredriksen. He is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to speed. He has great hands but he uh, is not the tallest person on the field. But um, working the disc up the field. Wide swing across. That's one of the things that uh, recognizes Bayern. They are rock solid handling. Just down the line, unfortunately, a bit too far. A bit too fast. So, number 17 on La Bamba. Uh, Alvin will pick up the disc. Liam with the disc, looking for something downfield, not finding anything, swinging over to number seven, that is Simon. Back to number four, Edita. Not finding their way down the field, just swinging the disc back and forth.
I've been playing for almost six minutes and the score is just 1-0. Yim again with the disc, not finding anything downfield. Getting the disc back, gaining a few meters, but then dumping the disc back. Almost across midfield. Nice grab down the line, resetting. Number 15, Umesh with the disc. Blade throw. And Liam grabs it and lands in. Fantastic point. That's number two, Liam Fredriksen. If you underestimate him because of his height, you will run deep, pausing. He will run deep, pausing on, under your arms. So. 1-1, one, one. Uh, Barium versus La Bamba. La Bamba's ready with the pull. A fast pull, that one is going behind the end zone, which means that uh, Barium is able to bring it to the brick mark four meters in front of their end zone. A hammer downfield. And pass down the line. That was Espen, I think, number 12. No, that's number 18, David Nilsson. The extra help. And Biden getting ready with the pull. La Bamba. Ready to receive. Edita gets the disc, going for a deep pass to number 15. Teammates calling for easy, not do anything rash. And Liam not able to reel that one in. Good defense there from Bader. That was number 10 on Bader, Eskil Elnes. Captain then, captain now. Colorado Ultimate, Mama Bird, a national team player, way back in his day. And getting the bookends 